Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add the post details to Excel when new WordPress posts are created. Which means that every time you create a post in WordPress and publish it, the details should automatically be added to your Excel workbook as a new row added about that specific post. So we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the post published in WordPress is the trigger and our action will be the new row added in your Excel. Let us learn how to do it. So let us integrate WordPress and Excel in such a way that whenever a new post is updated in your WordPress account, then automatically, like this is my Excel sheet where I have already created this, these columns, title, post, link and date, and all the detail related to that post in WordPress will be updated over here so that you can keep a record. We will be doing this with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account, sign in with Google or whichever account you have. And then we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now. And then as soon as you reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue big button, Create Workflow, and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Add Post Details to Excel when a post is created in WordPress. Click on Create, and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see you have two windows, Trigger and Action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this, which means you have to choose two applications. One is trigger and one is action. For this workflow today, our trigger is going to be WordPress so that the event will be the post published. So we are going to do this work manually that is going to take place in the trigger application. But the automation is actually for the action application because the updating of the detail in our Excel is going to take place automatically whenever a new post is published in your WordPress. So let us choose our trigger application as WordPress and the event is going to be new post published. And then they provide you with a webhook URL, which you are going to use to connect your accounts, that is Pabli Connect and WordPress. For that, they will help you with, with these instructions, follow these instructions, and then you can use this webhook URL. So first of all, you have to add a plugin that is called WP Webhooks. I will let you know how are we going to do this. In this left side panel, you can find this option called plugin. Choose the plugin and go to add new. When this add new window opens in front of you, in the search bar, you have to type WP Webhooks. WP Webhook. And then this will appear in front of you as Webhook Create Powerful Automation Workflows Directly Within WordPress. Choose this. In my system, it is already being installed. You have to install it so that you can use the Webhook URL that is given to you over here. Then further, you have to go to Settings, WP Webhooks and then send data. Choose that a post is created. Let us do this step by step. Under plugins only, you will find settings. Choose WP Webhooks from here. And then they will provide you a menu in WP Webhooks where you have to click on send data right here. So that whatever data is uploaded, for example, we are going to publish a post. So we are going to send that data to Pabli Connect, right? Then you have to choose what post created. This left side panel is having a trigger and every trigger has a webhook URL. So we are going to choose post created over here and then all the post created webhook URL will appear. So add a new webhook URL, give it a name. So like I'm going to give it as Excel record and paste the webhook URL from here. I'm going to copy it from Pabli Connect and post it over here or paste it and click on add for post create. Okay, now once you have done this, a new webhook URL will be added. But you have to add one more trigger to it, like come down to the same webhook URL list and then find your webhook that you have just created. This is Excel record. Click on these three dots. It will take you to settings. And in settings, you have to choose the trigger. So a post has to be published. Okay, the trigger on selected post type. So it's, it's going to be a post. And what is going to be done to the post? It's published. Once this is done, click on save settings and this is the last step. When this is done, then you can see that Pabli Connect is waiting for a webhook response, which means you have to create a post now. Okay, so you can close this window and go to this plus button and create a new post. So you have to give a title to this post. I'm going to say it's a sample post. Okay, so uh, I will add details to it like
So this is the data that I have added. Now I've given the title, I have given the data. I will now click on publish on the right side as you can see, click on publish and you can see it's waiting. So as soon as this is published, this process is completed, you can automatically find a response over here. And the post is published. As you can see, it's written over here, post published. Okay, and you will see that yes, we have received a response also. So here you can see first of all, the important thing is this link. This link will take you to the post directly. Okay, so this is useful to us. Then when you come down in this only, then you will find the title of the post. And also you will find the data of the post. Along with that, you will find the date when it was created. So this is what we needed. And this response is helpful for us. Now we will close our trigger window and move ahead to our action application. Our action application is going to be Excel. So just type Excel, choose your application and the action is going to add row to worksheet because we are not going to create a new worksheet. We have already a worksheet created over here, which is called WordPress record. And then we will just add a row to it. Okay, so click on connect and click on add new connection. Connect with Microsoft Excel. It will automatically detect your account and then you just have to give access to Pavli Connect. Click on yes and the accounts are connected in no time. Authorization successful. Now the same button will be called connected. Yeah. Now you have workbook, worksheet, columns, all the things are over here. So you have to choose a workbook first. The name of our workbook is WordPress record. So just click on this drop down menu and choose the workbook that you want to enter the details into. So as soon as you choose it, all these fields will appear in your Pabli Connect workflow so that you can map the information. Here it is. Now you can see there is only one worksheet. Okay, this is sheet number one. You don't need to change this part, but you have the title, post link and date. These are the three options and these are the three columns. So we are going to map the information. Now what is mapping? Mapping is actually using the information from the previous step to enter the details in the next step. So you just click on this empty field. It will ask you to insert data from the previous step and for that it will provide you this drop down menu. When you open it, you will get all the list of the responses that you saw as a response in your trigger application. So just type a hint of what you want to enter in the field in the search and map data. Like it, the title was sample post. So this is the title and you're going to post it over here. So any new post when published, the title of that post will appear in the title column over here. Okay, next is the link. So again, we saw the link. So you can just type link over here and see it will get you to the link. The last thing was date. So you can also type date, which is post date. This is the date and the time when it was created. So you're going to post this area. Now we will click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application. And here is the response, the title, the link and the date. This is what we want to enter. Now A2 and C2 is the row range like A2 and C2. It is updated till there. Now all the information is here. No error is there because if there is any error, you can correct it then and there. If it shows no error, which means our workflow is correct and we will just save our workflow first. Go back to our Excel, refresh it and then check again that it is updated. See, this is the title, the link and the date is right here. The date format has also changed automatically because of the connection that we established in between Pabli Connect and Excel. Okay. Now this is done. So let's do a quick recap of our workflow. Our trigger application was WordPress and the event was new post published. We used this webhook URL. It was a lengthy task, but yes, it's just a one time thing. So we followed these instructions to use this webhook URL, received this response when we created a new post. Then we transferred this information to our Excel by choosing the correct workbook the correct worksheet and then mapped the correct information. So this says that yes, a new row has been added and this is the proof of our success of the workflow. So this was the whole video. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect.
If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.